Boolean modifier in 3D design means creating intersections, as well as combining and subtracting objects from one another. It is one of the most useful and well-known functions when creating 3D models. Select two objects, in this case, the cube and the sphere, and then add a Boolean modifier from the top bar menu to create a union. You will see that the sphere disappears, leaving a hole in the cube. By selecting the sphere, you can reposition it, scale it, or rotate it. This operation is called Boolean Subtract. When selecting the function from the project menu, you will see an option in the Properties menu. Separate by Material, this setting is useful, as it will preserve the materials from other objects in the Boolean group. It is good to point out that you can change the order of the objects by clicking and dragging them inside a group. The main object is always the one at the bottom. Now, let's take a look at other operations available in the project menu. The intersect modifier creates a body from the intersecting parts of two objects. This union can connect multiple bodies and uniting them into one. In this scene, for example, it is possible to have multiple objects in one Boolean group. To test it, add a cylinder to a scene. Then, adjust its position, scale, and rotation. Finally, adjust its material and add it to the group. Because the sphere and cube are under the cylinder in the group, it will first apply a union between a cube and a sphere. Only then, it will subtract the cylinder. Experiment with different Boolean options, or even the order inside a group. Each setting will create different results. Let's design this electric kettle to get a feel for how the booleans can be applied to the buildup of the model. To get the final shape of the body, add a cylinder and use a subtract modifier. Next, use a, a radial array modifier to apply the shape all around the kettle. To model this handle, add a cube and adjust its shape. Then, select and add two cubes. Subtract the top and the bottom. To design the top and bottom pieces of the handle, duplicate the boolean group, then apply a bevel modifier for rounding off the edges. To engrave a logo, first create 3D text. Engrave a logo and impress it with a subtract modifier to make it look like it is engraved. At the end, use the separate by material setting to change the color. For the last piece of the handle detailing, add a cylinder, adjust it, and then merge it with other parts of the handle with a boolean union modifier.
the spout outlet is modeled with two cubes and an intersect modifier. For the final touch, use another cube with boolean subtract to make a hole. That should do it. By using boolean modifiers the whole design process is faster and more precise. It is one of the most useful functions during a 3D modeling process.